Okay, we are considering a situation where a boat is being pulled into a dock by a pulley right here at the edge of the dock. Uh, and the boat is, the rope is attached to the front of the boat, and the boat is eight feet below the level of the pulley. So the rope is being pulled this direction along this diagonal where the rope is at a rate of 16 feet per minute. And we're wanting to know how fast the boat is going towards the dock along the water level when the rope is 110 feet out. This 110 feet is like the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And the height of this triangle is eight. We can figure out how far out the boat is along the water level by Pythagorean theorem over here. We get square root of 12,036 by solving for the x that we have here. And I've got variables x, y, and z. We can do this because each one of these is a function of time. Each one of them changes with respect to time. For example, this z is changing with respect to time. It is This length of the rope is decreasing at a rate of 16 feet per minute and the distance of the boat to the dock is decreasing at a rate of dx over dt um, feet per minute. And that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find out how fast the boat is approaching the dock at that particular moment. So we can take Pythagorean theorem right here and use it as our function, as our mathematical model. And we can uh, do implicit differentiation with respect to time t uh, by using the power rule. So derivative of x squared is 2x, and we multiply it by dx over dt. And then we find the derivative of y squared, which is 2y times dy over dt. And I'll put z squared over here, equals 2z, power rule again, times dz over dt. Each of these is multiplied by 2, so I can simplify this a little bit by just dividing everything by 2. So I have x, d, x over dt plus y dy over dt equals z times dz over dt. That shows basically the, the kind of algebraic relationship that these have with their rates of change. Now, one thing to note here is that dy over dt, well, how fast is y changing? Well, the answer is it's not. It is not changing. This height is not changing at any point. So this right here is just 0. So we can effectively eliminate that, um, <clears throat> that part of our equation. We know that x is this square root of 12,036. We can say that, and that is times this unknown dx over dt. And this z is 110, and it's times negative 16. So if you multiply 110 times negative 16, we get negative 1,760. And that equals dx over dt, square root of 12,036. We can then divide by that. When we do that, we get approximately 12,036, square root of 12,036. We get about negative 16.04 feet per minute. Now, we notice this is not very different from this plain 16 feet per minute. And of course, negative, the reason why it's negative is because the distance is decreasing by that amount. So the rate that it's going towards the dock is actually positive 16.04 feet per minute. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, Pythagorean theorem uh, becomes our, our means of coming up with a function and an algebraic relationship. It gives us a relationship between the distances and the rates of change.